Previously on Dream Team. It wasn't what it looked. Really? So what are you doing here then? Patrick, I... Cut the Fletcher, be reasonable. Before you go on, I'm going to tell you what I want from you. I know what I want. I don't think you do. And I think you need space to figure it out. What are you saying? I'm going to go back to the States and I'm going to do this tournament. And in the meantime, you think about what you really want. And when you work it out, call me. If you want me and not Jamie, you know where to find me, yeah? What happened? It feels like there's a metal bar in my ankle. The scan was clear. I don't understand it. You don't seriously think you're the only player in on this bet, do you? We've had a record number of votes this year, and there are several players up for Dragon of the Year. There are, of course, players who should be here and who should be getting this award, but sadly, tragedy has taken them from us. Two absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. Absent friends. The supporters have been. Have you seen where Jackie is? She's supposed to be presenting this award. No, do you want me to go and find her? No, it's too late. I'm supposed to do it myself. Why? I have to talk to you. I'll call you back. You're meant to be giving Fletcher his award, aren't you? How can I look him in the eye when he knows what's going on? I'm terrified that he's going to stand up in front of the whole room and tell everybody what we've been doing. I'm in control and Carl Fletcher isn't. He's going to come out now. He's going to know I'm... Listen, the only person who's given anything away at the moment is you. Now get a grip. I am, of course, talking about Mr. Harchester himself. Our own, our very own... Mr. Carl Fletcher. Congratulations. Thanks, Mr. Chen. Thank you. Uh, this award, it means everything to me. Because uh, it's been voted on by you. The fans. Manchester United is my life. You know, that's why it really upsets me when people write us off, you know, as if we're already down. This club will not be relegated. Not as long as Carl Fletcher's got anything to do about it anyway. Yes. <laughs> I think he's the only one who wants to win. I know. Last week was just the beginning. As long as the gaffer keeps selecting me for the team, I'll give you 100%. Now, if anyone here doesn't feel as I do about this club, then walk away now, because you'll be the losers in the end. Harchester United are staying in the Premiership. Yeah. Yeah. You can bet on it. To the Dragon of the Year. Phil, can we go? Please, I don't feel very well. In a minute, mate. Um, interesting speech, girl. There's a lot more ones to say. Please, Phil. Oh. Jackie? 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 Can someone get an ambulance, please? Jackie. What's the matter with her? Is she going to be all right? We need to get her to the hospital, sir. I'm coming with you. Look, everyone, ladies, gentlemen, I think under the circumstances we should call it a night. Um, thank you all for coming and drive carefully, yeah? Tomo, congratulations on your Young Dragons Award. Uh, Clyde, I've been watching you and I knew from the first moment I saw you, you were going to be something special. Thanks. Jeff Stein, agent, always on the lookout for new talent. Thanks, Mr. Stone. Uh, Jeff, please. Are you going with the lads to the Grange? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we... Well, uh, we what are, do you say to me buying you both a drink? Tomo, this is my daughter, Natasha. She's my business partner. You'll be coming with us, won't you, darling? Um, yeah, but I think I've left my purse around there, so I'm just going to go and have a look and I'll catch you up, OK? All right, babe. Uh, shall we go? Yeah? Not told the wife yet, I see. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Well, I'm not worried. I've still got the photographs, so she'll find out one way or another. Good rousing speech, I thought. Yeah, I thought so. Try as hard as you like, Fletch. You're not going to win. Because I'm not the only one you're fighting. You OK? Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. Shall we go to Winners? Yeah. I need a drink. So, where's Martina tonight? 
It's been beneath her, is it? She's in LA. Oh, what a shame. But with boxing gloves this time. She's in LA anyway. She ain't left you, is she? Yeah. No. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jamie, I'm sorry. What are you talking to me for anyway? I thought you just wanted to speak to me through the lawyers. Mate, could I have another double in there, please? I think my husband's had enough. Uh, actually. I'm not your husband anymore, Tash. So, could I have another double in here, please? Jimmy, how are you getting home? <sighs> oh, no, you're not. OK. I'll walk then. Oh, look, come on, come in, me. I'll get you home. Jamie! <laughs> about your futures. The two of you have been needing some good advice. What you do need is someone you can trust to sort things out. Here you go, troops. Get out down yard. Don't be shy. What are you doing talking to this old fossil for, eh? Come on, after three. One, two, three. Ah, that's more like it. Ooh, well, it's probably the wrong time anyway. Uh, let's do lunch tomorrow on me. One o'clock, pick you up after training. Uh, I love this boy. Come here. Mwah. Go on. Yeah, I'm here. So that, Jeff. Mr. Willis. What's happening? Your wife's abdominal pain was caused by an ectopic rupture, and your wife's losing a lot of blood. What? She's pregnant? Was. I'm sorry, Mr. Willis. Please, Stuart and I are trying to have a quiet word about his ankle. Ah, there. The magical, mysterious ankle injury. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, it's rather convenient, isn't it? Eh? How it suddenly appears in the middle of a match and uh, mysteriously disappears. Carl! What, are you accusing me of faking an injury? What have you said to him? Nothing! Come on, answer the question! I'll we'll answer your question well, first. Well, go on, then. Right, that's enough. You have been acting like an idiot all night. We're going home. Now! Come on. I need you to help me if I'm going to get you up the stairs. Oh. OK, the sofa it is. I must be such a mug. <sighs> Come here. Get your arm up. Let's get the jacket off. Mm. Oh, you smell good, Tosh. Yeah, well, you don't. You smell of sweat and booze. Oh, I miss you, oh. babe. Pack it in, lover boy. Come on. Oh, home sweet home. Oh. Oh. Is there anything I could have done? She was only six weeks pregnant, Mr. Wallace. She might not have known herself. She'll be all right. She's lost a lot of blood. But she's going to be fine. Thank God. You really should go home. No, I'm not leaving her. I'll take them on. I'll take them all on. That's right. What has got into you tonight? You were completely out of order with Stuart. Oh, was I? Was I? What, what if he's faking an injury? What if he's faking it? You're crazy and drunk. Just drink this and go to bed. <laughs> what if I'm not ready for bed? Huh? I'm just getting warmed up. The night is a bit young! What are you playing at? Grab some champagne. 
and join me. Lava. Not in the mood, Carl. <laughs> Mr. Harchester wants you. We'll talk, because Mrs. Harchester is going to bed. And for God's sakes, put that stupid trophy down. Looks like it's just me and you. Or you, sleepyhead. Time to get up. Tosh, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> You're on my sofa, Jay. Oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry about last night, Tosh. Don't worry. It's quite nice not to be screaming at each other, eh? Yeah. Yeah, hello. Oh, I thought I'd be waking up here again. Well, I'm going to go and get Hope up. <laughs> oh, Tosh. Thanks, babe. Hi, can I speak to, um, to Robert Kentish, please, urgently? It's Jamie Parker. I'm a client and he's handling my divorce. What time is he going to be in? <sighs> OK, right, well, uh, he's, um, he's drafting a letter to my wife, Natasha Parker. I, I need to check that he's not going to send the letter to her. I, I'll call back later, but can you tell him when he comes in not to send the letter, please? Thank you. Yeah, look, I was out of order last night. And? Uh, about your ankle injury. I, uh, I never got that from her. We never discussed what. I was being a drunken fool. And? Yeah, I'm really sorry. Right, now that's done. Stuart, can you sit down? I need to put the support on your ankle. I'm concerned with the way this keeps flaring up when you exercise. I think we need to make an appointment with the specialist. Okay. Am I going to be all right to play the next game? Oh, well, this should protect it for now. Keep training and we'll see how you get on, though, yeah? Okay, Ryan, you dropped something. That ain't mine. Well, it dropped out of your pocket. It's not mine. What the hell are you playing at? It's not mine. I don't touch this stuff. I hope that's not what it looks like. Look, <sighs> you can find me as much as you like. I overslept. What? I need you at this lunch, sweetheart. Don't know what you're making all the fuss about, Dad. Well, the boy Connolly took a definite shine to you. And when you start the spiel about the PR and the news, well, you can talk the hind legs I don't legs believe off. it. How could he? <laughs> what? Jamie, the miserable two-faced... Do you know, I dragged him home here last <laughs> night out of the goodness of my heart, and then he does this. Two grand a month? How am I supposed to live on two grand a month when he's making 15 grand a week? And he wants me to pay him for half the house. Well, divorces are messy, sweetheart. Now, come on, chop, chop, otherwise we'll be late. Oh, stuff you, stuff the lunch, and stuff Jamie. I should be with Robbie. He's the one that loves me. And if you want to do something useful, try being a grandfather for the day. <laughs> Would you go and fetch Bobby? He should be here. <laughs> There's got to be an explanation. I'm sure my son wouldn't be... Someone's doing it. Phil, thanks for coming. Well, you do realise you dragged me away from my wife's hospital bed? Uh, yeah, Phil, sorry about that. But, um, this fell out of Ryan's tracksuit pocket. It could have been anybody's. Yeah, but I don't need to tell you the damage that drugs could do to us now. Phil, sorry. How is Jackie? Well, she lost a baby last night. Oh, Phil, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realise she was pregnant. Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, there to operate, though. Look, Phil, um... Please send her our best regards. The sooner we get this sorted out, the sooner you can get back to her. Yeah, of course. All right, let's get this over and done with. Look, when I spoke to your secretary this morning, I asked her not to send the letter. Yesterday, I... The gear wasn't mine, I swear it got... All right, enough. Just sit down, everybody, where I can see you. Now, taking drugs in this game is utterly stupid. And I just want to say how angry and disappointed I am in every single one of you. Only yesterday, the fans were cheering you like heroes, and this is how you repay them. Now, is anybody going to do the right thing 
and own up to this. Right, we'll find out for ourselves. Andy, get them on the pitch. Bobby, how long to set up a drugs test? On the whole team. Are we supposed to go through the FA for that? Well, officially, yes. We can't test in-house. You really want the FA involved? Say Ryan tests positively. How's that going to look when he comes up for tendency? I'm not happy about this, Patrick. This way, we will find out the player who's got the drugs in his system and keep him off the pitch. I'm just protecting the club, Phil. Um, I'd better get to training, boss. Yeah, of course, but don't say anything about the testing. But, Gaffer, shouldn't Dr Bradley be doing these tests? I think the fewer people that know about this are better, don't you? Now, we can't use the usual lab, so, uh, Abby, you said you had a friend in the pathology lab at Harchester General. Mike Daly. Can you trust him? I suppose. Well, tell him we'll pay for his time, but we need the results in 24 hours. Of course, we'll send the samples anonymously. You OK with that? Right, let's do it. Well done. Let's go. Stuart, you need to warm up first. Right. Take these and get out of here. What? They're going to test everyone. Get going. I'll take any test. I told you, I'm not on drugs. Don't be a fool, Ryan. Ah! Dad? Well, Dad, you all right? Come on. Why the oh. hell didn't you warm up first, huh? Let's Come get in, inside. Oh, so are you? You're not the one on the old nose bag, are you? No, no, I've just messed things up with Tash again, that's all. Nothing new there, then. <laughs> What's happened? It's his ankle again. I'm going to see if that specialist we talked about can fit him in this afternoon. What specialist? Well, he deals in nerve damage. We've ruled out most of the problems with the MRI, so he's the next logical step. Well, you think it's that serious? Got to find out what this is, Stuart. In the meantime, you could give us a urine sample while you're here. That's not going to help my uncle. Hey, beautiful. How are you feeling? That's so good. Did the doctor speak to you? Did you know you were pregnant? Sure. I'm sorry. No. Shh. It's me that should be sorry. When we talked about having kids, I thought you wanted to wait. I did. We can try again. The doctor said you should be all right. Please, Phil, can we talk about this later? I'm really tired. Yeah, of course. Get some rest. I can't believe you came. I've missed you so much. I missed you too, babe. I've got some great news to tell you. What? I'll tell you later, yeah? The club shouldn't be doing this, Patrick. The FA's supposed to carry out any drug tests. Gentlemen, I cannot force any of you to take this test. It is completely unofficial. But if we wait for the FA to descend upon us after a game for an official test, the culprit could be looking at a lifetime ban. Can we afford to lose a player at this moment? Look, Gaffer, how long is this going to take? How long does it take you to empty your bladder? <sighs> Needless to say, not a word of this goes outside of this room. Understand? I'll go first. Go on, then. There you go, Bobster. I ain't got nothing to hide, mate. And there's plenty more where that came from. He's keen. Let's try and keep this professional, Carl. Drop your trousers, please. Now you know you don't have to ask. <sighs> Just like being at home in it, darling. Gotta get a lock for that bathroom door. <sighs> you sure you're ready for this, love? You might want to sit down. <laughs> well, Nicky didn't seem too impressed, so I'm sure I'll manage. <laughs> Bring it off, man. <clears throat> yeah. 
Are you going to watch? Yeah, I have to. Oh. Come on, something I haven't seen before. <laughs> He's lessened out when he comes from training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't need, I don't need to go. Come on, don't be shy. Right, well, you just Come have to on. wait until you do. <laughs> Next! Ooh. Tash, good to see you. How have you been? Yeah, good, thanks. I'm really pleased with what Robbie's been doing. I think he's playing some great stuff at the moment, and we want to sign him. Did you hear that? I spoke with Patrick Doyle, and we're going to keep Robbie on loan till the end of the season, and then we'll make him a really good offer to stay. Brilliant. Right? Yeah, too right. Brighton's my new home. Come on then, Robbie, get back on there. See you later on. Be a good girl, sweetheart. Oh, sorry I'm late, Mr Stein. I've been waiting an hour. What happened? Oh, the, uh, the gaffer was all doing some extra fitness stuff. Where's Clyde? Oh, he's still getting changed, I think. No problem. We'll hang on. <laughs> no offence, but I think it needs changing. She's not an it. She's a she. Oh, hope. <sighs> oh, yeah. That time, thank God for that. Is that it? Go on, get lost. Yes. Oh. oh, that's minging. Could you have been for that, please, love? You all right, mate? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go to lunch. Uh, I'm sure the blue room might mind us being a little bit late. She's angry, I know I am. <laughs> Couldn't we uh, do this another time? I just want to show you what I can do for you. Yeah, well, you already said, and I'm supposed to be meeting some people. Oh, come on, let's just go and have a drink. God, I've already had enough to drink. Just a little one. Sorry, I need the loo. Well, what about you? Uh, what he said. From what you've both told me and from examining the area, could quite possibly be nerve damage. We'll only know for sure by doing exploratory surgery. Surgery? No one said anything about surgery. If it is nerve damage, how many weeks off are we looking at? Well, hang on a minute. Four weeks at the most. Depends on the speed of recovery and the method of treatment. Well, we need to do this ASAP. When can you fit him in? It's tomorrow afternoon, all right? It's great. No, no, it's not. Um, can't we do this without the um, needles and the knives? If it is tunnel nerve syndrome, and I suspect it might be, it's a serious problem, Mr. Naismith. If you carry on with it undetected, it could be the end of your career. I'll double check the operating room schedule for tomorrow. Be right back. What's up? You want to find out what's wrong, don't you? Hey, what's that ball ever done to you? What do you want? Same as you, I reckon. This stupid illegal test will get us all in trouble if it comes out. But it's not just that. I'm used to working at proper clubs, professional clubs. Patrick brings me here to the middle of England with great promises about how you reach the FA Cup final and how we can do it again. But it is, what's the word? A shambles? Look, I don't like what's going on any more than you do. <laughs> it's okay for you. You're near the end of your career. I, on the other hand, am not. If this club goes down to the first division, we are all failures. I did not come to England to lose. Neither did I. That's enough fluffing. I'm okay. Just trying to make sure that you're comfortable. Honestly, I'm fine. Good. You look a bit tired. Why don't you go home and get some rest? No. You're my number one priority. Hello. You feeling up to visitors? Oh, please, come in. Oh, they're lovely, thank you. So are yours. Oh, they're not from me. The nurse asked me to bring them in. They've been delivered. Who are they from? Oh. Get well soon, Mrs Wallace, from Patrick Doyle. Phil, could you put these in some water for me? Yeah, sure. him to come and see me. I can't. It's nice of Patrick on there. You must have some opinion about what's going on at the moment. <laughs> Where do I start? We lose Mandy, we lose Mendoza. There is the injuries with Jamie, Robbie, now Stewart. The whole mess with Ryan. And now, drugs. But there is also the playing. As a team, we are not consistent, you know? Like you. You are a good player. But you have not been dependable. Hmm. All right. What about Patrick? How does he figure in all of this? The gaffer is not the same money as to play for. 
Here's to find the team's strength. Create formation that works and stick to it. But he's not doing that now. Why do you think he's changed? Je ne sais pas. Perhaps he's as fed up as I am. Do you think he wants the team to win? What kind of question is that? Well, how well do you really know? Huh? I was with Patrick for four years at Paris Saint-Germain. He was the best manager I ever played for. If you're looking for someone to blame, I suggest you look a little closer to home. He's the one that bought this. He's the one that shut me and Hope out. How dare he be the one making all the demands? You've been talking about Jamie all afternoon. I am in the middle of a divorce, Robbie. I can't just ignore what he's doing to me. And now I get this. Have you seen what he's asking me for? What am I supposed to do? You could start by leaving him in Harchester. Instead of bringing him here, it's like I'm in a relationship with you and your ex-husband. What are you doing? Forget about the letter. Forget about Jamie. I want to talk about you and me. I'm staying here, Tash. And I want to know, am I looking for a house for one or three? Look, it's not as easy for me just to get up and leave Harchester. It's my dad, the divorce, the business. And Jamie does need to see hope, Robbie. You're just making excuses. You either love me and you want to be with me, or you don't. It's simple. Look, I do love you. You know that. Come to Brighton with me, then. We'll start a new life together. You, me and Hope. Cross the bridges over water A new reflection Creeping in Come on. Oi, quit with the banging. It's taken me hours to get your daughter off to sleep. Anyway, Natasha isn't here, luckily for you. She got the letter then. I wouldn't like to repeat the name she was calling you. I came to apologise. Yeah, well, you're too late. Now, if you're really sorry, there is something you can do. What? Your duty as a father. Well, Jeff, can I come in? Jamie, I'm not in the mood. But this is my house. Where is Tash anyway? Brighton. Go and see Robbie. Hey. Might as well get on with it then. What? The big, you've let me down speech. Have you? No! Okay. You believe me? Yeah. No, oh, I'm sorry if I didn't earlier. I was just acting on automatic. How'd it go to hospital? I've got to have keyhole surgery in the morning. Well, that's good, isn't it? At least you get to find out what's wrong with you. What if it's something they can't fix? What if this is the end of my career? Yeah. Come on, see if that's going to happen. Jamie, come on. I'm coming. Look, I've been trying to call you all day, Tash. Just give me my door, uh, yeah? Look, I'm really sorry about the lawyer's letter. I, I did try and stop it. <laughs> look, I've just had a really nice day with Robbie. I'm not going to let you ruin it by fighting, OK? Tash, look, look I need to talk to you, Tash. How's the patient? He's having surgery tomorrow. Doesn't mean he isn't faking it, you know. Oh, for God's sakes, why the hell should he be? What's that? Who's that from? It's just some research notes on tunnel nerve syndrome. All right. Just what's going on with you, Carl? You've been acting really strange the past week. It's just team stuff. Nothing for you to worry about. You sure there's nothing you want to tell me? No, nothing. Right, this morning I want you all focused. Here and now, there's only one thing that should be on your mind, and that is football. You've all got a job to do, I want to see you doing it. Right, we're going to start off by working on closing down the spaces. Let's go. Hey, hey. Come on! Oh, up, you like that? Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Come on, 
Come on, lads! Come on, it's more like it! Come on, boys, come in, yeah? Hey. Hi, this just came for you from the hospital. Thanks. Is it the draft test results? Yeah. This is number seven. It's Fletch. What? Nothing. Why? Well, you never want to pay us. Couldn't touch the ball without you being there. I think Carl is testing us for some reason. Well, I've been testing enough recently. Well, you're up to us. Abs. Well, hello, Abs. Can't you at least wait till you get him home? I need to talk to you. Abs, I'm naked! Now! <laughs> what the hell's going on? You tested positive. What? You tested positive for cooking. Well, it's a mistake. No mistake. I've seen the lab results. I haven't touched anything, I swear. Well, then how do you explain having it in your system? I can't. What's going into tonight? Completely out of balance. Accusing me of faking an injury. To the dragon of the year. Carl, what is it? What? Spot my drink. Who? The gaffer. Carl Fletcher. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised, given his history. What now? I'll have to speak to the chairman. Not a word of this to anybody until we decided what to do. Oh, sorry. I was wondering if you had a minute. I'll be downstairs. Yes? I uh, went to the hospital yesterday. Mrs. Wallace is feeling better, I hope. She asked me to ask you. Well, she thought you might visit. I was just passing on a message. So after I found out about the affair in the bear, Patrick tried to blackmail me into throwing matches. But I couldn't do it. So then he told me there were other players involved. That's what I was banging on about Stuart. You know, it made perfect sense to me, Abs. The coach and the manager. Anyway, look, I wasn't going to stand there and watch him ruin the club. All right, I was going to fight him on the pitch. He's doing everything he can to ruin me. I can't believe I never saw this coming. Drugging me. Now, that's even crazier than him threatening to show you that... The... Show me what? Never mind. Damn right, never mind. You're making this up as you go along. I'm not! I swear it! You're the only person that's going crazy here, Carl. You expect me to believe that Patrick Doyle spiked your drink with cocaine just to get you off the team? Oh, no, I know, I know what it looks like, all right? What it looks like is the paranoid ramblings of a cocaine addict. If it's true, why doesn't he just drop you? He can't! I scored a hat-trick against Sunderland, and I'm, and I'm the Dragon of the Year. Abs, if he drops me, the fans will be up in arms. OK. So why don't you go to Mr Wallace and tell him everything? Huh? Or go to the FA and tell them? Because I've got no proof. It's my word against his. Oh. So you've got no proof of the affair with Jackie Wallace? No proof of this bet? No proof that there's some other player in on it with Patrick? And no proof that he drugged you? No. But it's the truth! I swear it! Look, I've been thinking. Maybe we should put the appointment off till tomorrow. No, Stuart, we're going. Two days ago, he's player of the year, and now this. I'm starting to think there's a curse in this club. It's no curse. Just destructive players. So what do we do? Give this into the FA and let them take the appropriate action? To be honest, Phil, I don't want to do that. It could cost him his career. I'd hate to see that happen to a player who dedicated his life to this club. Then what do we do, then? I think there is a way to protect him and us from trouble with the FA. Well, you'll be under general anaesthetic. The whole procedure should only take half an hour. If the problem's what I think it is, a couple of quick snips and we'll be done. Thanks for explaining. Don't worry, Mr Naismith. I've done this procedure a hundred times. The nurse will be right in to prepare you, OK? Abby. What? I'm sorry. Are you faking this injury, Stuart? No, I, it's just. Would you like to sit on the bed, please? Stuart, look at me. 
Okay. This is all going to be over in a few hours, and you can go home and relax. I know, I know it's not rational, it's just... There's no need to explain. Stuart, look at me. Okay? Okay. There we go. Stuart, don't think about it. Don't look at her. I want you to focus on me. You're doing fine. Okay? Relax. Breathe. Yeah. There we go. All done. You didn't even notice, did you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very disappointed in you, Fletch. I didn't do nothing! He did this to me, you sick... Calm down. What's the matter with you? You've been taking this stuff today. You don't know what he's capable of. I do hope we're not looking at a habit here. What are you going to do to me? Well, I'll let you know that I was this close to giving these results into the FA and letting them take action. But I was persuaded to give you a second chance. You have Patrick to thank for saving your career. What? The issue here is to stop any more damage being done to the team. So we're going to keep this in-house. And in order to prevent any risk of you testing positive for the FA, you will not be playing until the drug is completely out of your system. Assume, of course, that you are no longer taking it. You know I'm not. I haven't touched it in years. Good. So we'll issue a press statement, backed up by Bob and Abby, that you've picked up an injury in training. Of course, you'll attest to that. You want me to fake an injury? Well, it's better to do that, miss a couple of games, than ruin your career. Why are you doing this to me? I can't afford to lose someone as valuable as you. And you've got to get some help for this drug problem, Fletch. It ends here. <sighs> I'm sorry you should have never got that letter. I was talked into it by my lawyers. Forget it, OK? Forget everything in it, please. I don't want to fight, Tash. The other night was... It was lovely. Been back at home. Been friends, at least. I forgot I even agreed to that damn letter. Jamie, I only want what's fair. You have got to provide for us. Yeah, I know. Well, then, let's tell the lawyers to stop up in the ante. I'm sure if we really put our minds to it, we could probably sort it out ourselves. You've changed your tune. I need to move on. Look, Jamie, I've got to tell you this sooner or later. Me and Hope, we're going to move to Brighton. What? As soon as the house is sold. Robbie's going there permanently. Don't look at me like that. You can see Hope every weekend. You're leaving Harchester? It's time for us both to move on, Jay. Hey, how's he doing? He's OK. The operation went well. He should be awake in an hour or so. Don't you know what's wrong? I mean, he could be fixed, yeah? Well, I haven't spoken to Dr Callerman yet. Fingers crossed, though. Can I go in? Yeah, sure. In a bit. Oh, your test came back negative, by the way. Yeah, I knew it would. Was anyone positive? Yeah, but I'm not allowed to say who. Yeah, well, whoever it was, they watched me go through all that and didn't say a word. I hope they get what they deserve. Why are you doing this to me? Why not show me to the FA and get me out of your way? Because if I did that, you'd be banned for life. And then you'd have nothing left to lose. So long as you have a shred of hope that you still have a career, you'll do what I say and keep your mouth shut. What if I march up those stairs and tell the chairman everything? Sort my career, sort everything? You've got no proof. And an FA investigation would have nothing on me. The only people who'd be hurt would be you and the club. It'd be messier, but the end result would be the same. Relegation. Be smart, Fletch. I've won. Hey. Dad. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect to be back in hospital so soon. Hey, I don't mind. You send these nurses. Good. You're awake. I still got a foot then. Yes. And I was correct in my assessment. It was tunnel nerve syndrome. Is that good news or bad? Good news, Mr. Naismith. You should be good as new and playing again in six weeks, top. Thank God. Thank God. Right. 
I better go and leave you two alone. Abby, thanks for your help. I mean it. No problem. Told you be okay, big guy. see me then. I thought it better I stay away. Better for who? For you or for me? I'm sorry you lost your baby. My baby? Don't you mean our baby? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what to say. For once. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you were actually feeling something. I'm feeling tired, I know that. Why don't we leave Harchester? No. I'm not walking away now. Not when everything's coming together. Jackie, you're a strong woman. And you've got a husband who loves you very much. What about you? How do you feel about me? I think we make a losing team. them together. Jackie and Patrick. I thought you were making it up. Is it really true? Yeah. All of it? Y yeah, I swear. No, I'm implicated as well. Patrick got me to do those tests on the quiet. If anyone finds out about this... Abs, that's not all. He would have made sure you saw this sooner or later. May as well be sooner. No one. It was the day we uh, went to the races. Me, Robbie and uh, Ryan. I was drunk. And you always get these women hanging about, you know. Look, it was just a kiss. She practically stuck her tongue down my throat. I didn't do nothing, I swear to God. You... Look, if you don't believe me, ask the lads. Look, look at me, look. I love you. I don't want no one else now. Patrick. Phil. I came in to see how Stuart Naismith's operation went. He's fine. He should be fit in six weeks. Well, soon enough. I just popped in to see that my flowers had arrived. Yeah, they're lovely. Hey, look, don't go on my account. I don't think she needs any more visitors. Um, she seems a bit, uh, a bit low. Yeah. I'd say it was the hormones, but uh, I'm feeling the same way. Never realised how much I wanted this baby till I lost it. Sure you want to come in? I suppose you're uh, asking yourself why you even bothered marrying me in the first place. I owe half a million in tax money. I've got no contract. I've got a drugs charge hanging over my head and I've dragged you in as well. I'll get out while you can. Take whatever pittance is left in the bank and go. Just leave me to rot, I would. I can't. God knows why I love you, Carl Fletcher. But I do. to leave you. If you tell me it was a one-off... I swear. You didn't sleep with her. I didn't sleep with her. I mean, I guess we'll get through it. And the rest of this mess. I don't deserve you. You're the smart one. 